Tale as old as time. Tale as old as time. Tale as old as time. DJ and the girls. Right. Oh shit. It's Shakespearean. It's an opera. It's like watching a great duel. It's like watching people in the wild battle it out because essentially it is the wild for the people of the world. It's boiler rooms. I love boiler rooms. So many hidden gems in there. For those of you who don't know, a boiler room is when they get a DJ to do a set. He's there at the front. Doing all that, I don't know how the DJ stuff works, but yeah, they're sort of scratching that, making sure that a song does sort of bleeds into you understand what a DJ is. Then in the background, you've got the guys and they're just like, mm, mm, mm. they're just loving life. You're showcasing the quality of the DJ, but what people don't spot are the gems within, the gems behind the DJ. And there is no better boy in a room, in my opinion, than the tale of Kate Trinada's Montreal DJ set. And so I'm going to take you through that incredible story right now in what I'm calling Boiler Room Confessions. Let's do it. <coughs> Sorry. Love it. It's Disney when they do the little, little breathy lines because they get emotional, don't they? Tell as old as time. Tell as old as time. Very quickly before we dive into this boiler room, I've got to give a shout out to Isaac Jealous 4 because he went on my Instagram after the Wembley Cup video and asked for a shout out. I'm doing the same for this video, so head over to my Instagram, make sure you comment below asking for a shout out and you might get a shout out in the next video. Let's get into it. Just to give you the initial gist of this boiler room story, two girls battling out. So important to remember here, is DJ with the funny hair leaving. He's done his set with his little computer. Time to go now for the real deal. Kate Trinard to step in. You got a nice girl over on the right hand side. She'll, she'll play a part in the story. You got Screech, he'll also be a, a small character in today's story. Even Cardigan Guy, nice Cardigan Guy. Again, he's there, he's enjoying himself, but he's not a key component. Here she is. The villain of the piece, in my opinion. Let's call her Slutty Bow. I'm gonna call her Slutty Bow. There she is, twiddling her hair. Irritating. Why is she wearing a bow? Dipping. Slutty Bo, is she there for the love of Kate Trinada? Or is she there because she wants the fame and the cameras on her? Next to Slutty Girl, you'll see the coolest guy ever. Just chilling on his phone. Hey, I ain't got time for it right now. I'll dance when I want to dance, not when you want to dance. Thank you very much. Drunk dude. Back in the far right. Desperate to get involved. He's had way too much to drink here. Behave yourself, fella. And then from nowhere, here comes Hair Guy. He's, he's rushed in, desperate to get there for the set, hasn't been able to sort his hair out. So he thought he'd do it on screen. Fair enough. Oh, no, I haven't finished his hair. There he goes. There he goes. Can I just, is it alright if I just do it here? Well, this toilet's just about there. Ah, I'll do it here. Slutty Bow. We don't like Slutty Bow. With a Slutty Bow and a lack of clothing. She's that kind of girl, she eats really badly but stays really slim. Hello! Here comes our second character. It's Gilkey. Gotta love a bit of Gilkey. She's the girl who's in love with Kay, Kay Trinada. And here she is, just slowly making her way. Nice little touch to initiate. And she's ready to battle it out now. Drunk guy, he's seen Slutty Bow. He's drunk, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's gone over there, he thinks I've got a chance. She's pretending to muck about with the microphone. Or is that a cock of any person with a bit of fame? I don't know, you'd have to ask her. She's so busy looking at the camera. <laughs> drunk guy having a go with the mic. But Gilkey, now she's our heroine. We want her to do well, and she's here. She's come to fight. She's come a long way. She's a fan of the music. She's clearly a fan of his, and it's heating up. What's his slutty bow doing? Bow's come off. She's been so slow. I think cool guys looking to block the Kate Trinada and Gilkey love affair here. 
he's gone off to the side now. Lester, she's had a few shots, and I think they're slowly going to seep in. But it's given her the encouragement, because she's a sweet girl, you know? She's only had one boyfriend before this, and that guy, if you broke her heart, she just loves She loves to have a dance. She's a huge fan of his. She likes him on, uh, on a spiritual level, on a musical level. She just wants to slowly and in a classy fashion win him and, and have babies with him. Here comes Sweat Rocks come for a little dance. Will he play a part? Also, hello, Red Hat has stepped up. He's got two buttons undone and he's ready to get involved. He wants Gilkey as well. You've got two yards of yards here. You've got Kate Trinada, who Gilkey's trying to get involved with. Then a yard away from that, you've got Red Hat, who is sweating profusely, but not as much as Sweat Rock on the left-hand side there, but he's just there for a good time. Look at the cool guy. Look at that. He's, look how cool he looks. And then you got Sweat Rot in the background, poor guy. It's in bits. You enjoy yourself, Sweat Rot. Right, here we go. A third player enters the game for Keitronada's attentions. It's Gilmore Girl, or what I like to call Slow Mo Girl. Come on, girl. Gotta say, he's buzzing there, isn't it? Even. No one there! Oh, look at Screech from nowhere getting involved. He's, he's bouncing about, he's loving the beat. Will he have a part to play in this love affair? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, look at him, he's just bouncing about. Calm down. You know when you're like, you're on the tube and you got your headphones on, like you want to dance. Because you're just feeling it, you know? Yeah, you're moving, you think, yeah, I look cool. But if you take the music away, look. Like a fucking idiot. It's not even full. Oh, here we go. Screech has spotted Gilkey. Once again, and then the yard behind again, I'm afraid. There's Red Hat, poor bloke. And as you can see, there's literally no one there. You get a really great angle tactically of the four yards now you've got here. You've got Kate Trinada, then you've got Gilkey, then you've got Screech, then you've got Red Hat. I've got to say, I'm root for Red Hat. Screech is annoying. Just chill. Come on, Gilkey. Well, that's good to see. Gilkey has not come alone. They're friends there, so that's good. She's got some backup. Screech is on something. What was he, about six stone? Get the boy a bottle of water. Worried about him. Let make a move, son. Oh dear, Gilkey's uh... Gilkey's had a few. Those shots are starting to really sink in now. And look, Slutty Bow's on her way as well. This is where it gets interesting. Come on, Gilkey! Oh, wow! They say hello to each other in a passive-aggressive moment of competition because they are ready to do battle. Feeling the music, ready to go. I know they're in a fight to the death, these two. There she goes, oh, Kitchen Order got a little look. Not sure. And oh god, of course, to the right, there is Red Hat waiting to make his move. Is it gonna be Gilkey's night? She's worked so hard so far. It's almost like what's she gonna sort of herd of horny people battling out in the wild looking to find find love really. I mean I hope it's fine love, maybe I'm putting a positive spin on it. Of course, Slutty Bo, she's really deep down, she's really concentrating on the camera. Kate Shinada has a quick look at her. He's not sure about her either, but she refuses to leave his side. Hair guy just checked his breath, didn't he? he goes, Should I just check my breath just in case before I try? I almost have a slightly bow or slow mo Gilmore girl on the right. He's checked it, he's gone. Maybe tonight's not my night, but just leave it. Now he's looking to call in some chewing gum. The thing with Gilkey is, she's starting to sweat a lot. Oh, little look at this. <laughs> Wowza. Lick or look at Slutty Bo there. She's not impressed and she's not going anywhere. She's up for the fight. Go on, Gilkey. Red hat, of course. One yard away. Hang on a minute. Coolest guy in the world. He wasn't after Gilkey at all. He was after the best mate. Incredible work by the coolest guy in the world. Just chilling now. She's slowly pretending that she doesn't know that he's there. But slowly she's going to back in. Cool shit. Great stuff. <laughs> okay, Shinada's just saying, you've got really bad breath. And he's like, what? You've got really bad breath. Can you do something about it? There's nothing I can do about it, he's saying. He's saying, yeah, we've got to do something. It's awful. Is there mints over there? No. Ah, forget it. Kate Shinada's, look, he's, he's fighting a losing battle here. He's just got to deal with it. Let's just ignore him and get beyond it. Then I can just get the set and go the fuck home. Where's, where's Slutty Bow gone? He's like, I don't know what to do about my bad breath. What was, oh, there she is. Getting a photo of the group. Fair enough. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. It's a good mail. Maybe she's not. Maybe it's not all about her. Oh, of course, of course. I'm gonna fight with Gilkey of all people. Oh, and Gilkey. Wow, it's like it's like two two boxers at the end of 15 rounds. They've had a fight and they they embrace at the end of it. This battle's not over. Poor oh, sweaty Gilkey. I hate that. That what's that? What's that thing girls do? They push their hand into the hip. There's just no need really. 
Stand still. Just looks odd. Go on, Gilkey. This needs to start moving now, you know. Um, but maybe the friend can step in here. Um, move some action forward. Kate Renard, body language moving towards Gilkey. Oh, and he's signifying that his mate should get with a friend. And she's asked, do you fancy my friend? That stings. That stings for all of us. I mean, we've all been rooting for Gilkey. Let's see that again. Let's go back. Gosh, I mean, Gilkey, poor girl. Shouldn't have worn that jumper. I know it was a long trek and you didn't want to get cold, but you know, you can always minus, you can never add, I get it. Kate Schneider makes a clear gesture of you two are getting together and she's gone, do you fancy my friend? She's gone, no, I'm fine. <sighs> You've got to respect the friend for putting it out there. She wasn't really getting anywhere. She wasn't moving it forward. She wasn't getting the nudges in. There wasn't the eye contact. Tough to watch. Just a clear rejection of what, what her. No, I'm fine. All the while, <laughs> Red Hat in the background, a yard away. He's lost, isn't he? He's lost. Come on, Red Hat. Come on, boy. You're a yard away. What's he doing with his hands? Oh, God. Gilkey's lost her way as well. Ah, oh, it's this. She's a fighter. And I, you look. She's feeling a groove. God's sake. She's having a great night. But she could dance anywhere, couldn't she? She's decided to dance there. Oh, God. It's the DJ from the first bit. Who left? Her skin's crawling. Her skin is crawling. What is that? Gilkey's got herself a DJ. She's not the one she wants. And all of course, Red Hat's there. Whoa, girl, is then? He's having a great time. That's it, isn't it? That's the game we play. Get in there, give it a go, see what sticks. No dice, I'm afraid, Red Hat. Poor Gilkey, she is, she's literally, she's melting. It's, it's tough to watch. This is, this is taking a turn. Um, slightly bows back, the steamed up glasses, and a lack of rhythm. What's she doing? God. Got a phobia of men with long hair. Slutty bow, you got yourself a suit in. This guy's got some trousers and some moves. Go on, mutton chops. Will Gilkey get any kind of recognition from the shift that she's put in tonight? I mean, it's an incredible story of stamina, of, of fight, of grit. You gotta, you gotta applaud that. Though I, I wish someone would give her some water. Come on, Kay, give her something. Look, she's, look at her, she's broken. She's been by your side the whole time. She's been a proper DJ's wifey there. All touch barrier. She looked great at the start. She's, she's, she's hanging in there. But she's she broken the touch barrier there. You never, you never know, that might lead to something. There's no one there. This is literally like the 14th, 15th round of a boxing match now. He's, he's having a quick word. That's lovely. That's like, oh, yeah, but quick to turn back. Really isn't keen at all, Gay Granada. But there was a nice moment of, I don't want to say pity. I don't want to say pity. Pity. There was pity there. Where he's gone, look, this girl's, she's putting a shift. It's like I read that. She's putting a shift here. Look at Gilkey. She's got a new lease of life. Don't you dare, slutty bow. Oh, that's. He's given slutty bow more than Gilkey. And Gilkey, she's come a long way. Imagine. She was like if Terry Butcher was fancy Kate Renata and did a DJ set. It's like that. Ah, I'm disappointed with that. Okay, let me down, mate. You know, no bit of class when you can see it. Difficult to watch at the end there, but that's a round of applause for Gilkey. Put in a proper shift there. He gave it everything, but was unable to get the attention of Kate Renata. Slutty bow, I'm sure she's out there just enjoying herself being, being slutty, wearing a bow. Good luck to her. And Red Hat. Poor guy. So there you have it, Boiler Room Confessions. Not all of them end in a happy ending. That's the story of life. Let me know your thoughts on what happened in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, then hit the like button. Let me know your feedback in the comments below, as I said. Subscribe to the James Lawrence All Got channel, and I'll see you guys soon.